Now using your mat long ways, step right out. So maybe your feet are underneath your wrists. If you can't go that far, go as far as you can go. Straighten the knees and push the outside of the feet down. Turn out the right hip. So this is going to be Trikonasana. Now remember that we're flexing from the hip again, not up here from the waist. So we want to slide at the same height. We don't want to drop. We just want to go to the same height as if we're sliding along the horizon. And we keep going. Now what will happen is we will have to stop. But we can breathe a few breaths. We can slide a bit more. Breathe a few breaths. Now there come a point when we just can't go any further. Okay, it's just not going to go any further. And that is fine. We're going to drop the hand, raise the other hand. And hopefully by that time our tail will be in line with the crown of our head. And our back will be as though it's next to the wall behind us. Trikonasana, triangle. Can we come up and can we release? Let's try this on the other side. So we're turning up hip. Don't want to flex from the hip. Now remember, same height, don't drop. Get the same height as if you're sliding along a table or an icy pond. Oof. Let's not think of that one. Let's see if you can keep sliding, sliding, same height. Keep going, even when it's hard, keep going. And then when we really can't go anymore, hand down, arm up. And hopefully by that time, our head could be over our foot or thereabouts. Okay. Breathe in, breathe out, trick on asana. And we could slowly come up and release. Let's do it one more time, the first side. So really we need to do a couple of things to make this really into um, the, the asana that's in the right plane of movement. We need first to go at the same height to get the length in the spine. And we need to make sure that we don't twist and bring this arm forward, because sometimes people do this thing, you know, when they're coming forwards. But we want to keep our back back. Okay, so sliding along the wall, oh, sorry, sliding along the table or the horizon. And then keep your top shoulder back as you bring the other arm up, that's right. And then just think of the length from your tail to the crown of your head. Lengthen. And we could slowly come up, well done. And release. Let's try the other side. One more time. Trikonasana. Slide at the same height. Give yourself time. Sometimes you just need to stop and just have a few moments. And then the body's saying, okay, we can go again. It gets to the point where you can't go and then keep that top shoulder back. Keep a lot of space between the pelvis and the armpit. So we don't want that sort of thing happening. We do want sort of a lot of space. Can we come up and release? Can we turn the feet forwards? And again, flexing from the hips. Try to get your fingertips to touch the floor. Now try and lengthen along the spine, straighten the knees, and just hold for a few moments here. If you can't touch the floor, get more weight to the front of your feet. Can you walk the hands between the feet? Good, and if you can, just see if you can hold your elbows and dangle. Can we walk our hands to our right foot, fold ourselves over, a bit more weight to the front of the foot. And then go to the other side, to the left. Here we are on the left, and again we're folding ourselves over. And then we're back to centre, where we can bring our hands to our pelvis, bend the knees, come up slowly. Always come up slowly from forward bends to give the blood time to get back up to your head without feeling a bit of a rush. Good. And we could jump the feet in or we could heel and toe. Feet together. Give them a bit of a shake. Give them a bit of a shake out and relax. Good.